so like I need vlog style with you. Like, so I'm actually talking directly to you because talking to myself doesn't work. And then uh, <clears throat> it's just kind of really stupid. Um, so the TP style with the tent, open ground, or you can do the ground cloth model with the stove and all that stuff. I'm interested in doing that. And, and the reason I'm interested in doing that is we had like the base camp and then we had, we went up the mountain as light, light as possible, but like what we could do and still survive. You learned a lot from it. I knew, but there's a bunch that I got to experience, which made me like really think some of it through a little bit more. So I'm thinking if we were to, if you had that style of tent and then your sleeping bag system is small, warm, effective, but not as hiking those big bags up the mountain, it's just like a no go. Um, and it's, it's really kind of a pain in the butt packing anyway, but if you were to have a sleeping bag in a bivy sack that is good, waterproof, breathable, whatever, um, if you had it pre-rolled in that, so you're not getting your bag out in the moisture and in the rain, and you have your, your pad, and you have a ground Tyvek uh, siding, whatever really, really lightweight, durable enough to be put on sticky, mossy, whatever, rocky, like the beach, whatever. Um, but the thinking is, is remember like we're, we're under the shelter and then we're trying to get in the tent out of the rain when we were on the beach and we're trying to get, and just like, you couldn't have your stuff in there. You couldn't work with it. There was some freedom up on the mountain, even though it, it sucked to a degree, um, being under that fly. Well, instead of having a rain fly, but you could do it with a rain fly. If you had that tent, if it's lightweight enough and you could still do the stove in colder seasons, but if you had that and then you're sort of set up like personal bivy style in there, you can walk in with your boots and everything. It's not out in the rain. You can get stuff drier. You can work with it. Um, you can even carefully, carbon monoxide and all that, cook near the edge of um, the tent inside if need be by the weather. So I'm like, I'm thinking if we had <clears throat> that instead of trying to get our asses dry to get in the tent which is not dry like the sleeping bags were getting moisture on them from things that we were doing just trying to get in the bags if they're in a bivy already rolled up the only exposure would be at the, like the top end of that and you keep it flapped and sealed and then you're you're working with all that uh less if, if you can get less gear and 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 lighter um so you still have the shelter but you don't have to worry about so much um, the tracking in and out factor, which just doesn't work. And then with that, we had a tent that was too heavy to take with us up. Whereas how much does it weigh compared to um, the rain fly kind of scenario and how easy is it to pitch using a trekking pole or, or whatever. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but I need to pull up the list and pull up all the weight for it and, see see where we stand it may just make sense for like beach camping um around the edges anything we can get to with boat instead of taking up the mountain and it still may make sense to do like a fly up the hill though flies i think we could go lighter and we need to go uh, any pole any um spikes need to be dropped down to titanium any any area we can cut ounces because we're not going to cut ounces in food ammunition med packs so like and then if you're trying to get meat off the mountain that's a that's a shit ton of weight so if we can minimize it and then a tent like that too if you had a third person or fourth person along depending on what you went with and then they brought their bivy sack sleeping bag thing they're still good to go too and it's even less weight for the whole party so anyway what i'm thinking